wedding planners. They cost thousands and thousands of pounds, right? They're only for people who have loads and loads of money who don't want to plan their wedding themselves, right? Wrong. You can get your wedding planner for free. Let me show you how. I speak to couples almost every day who say, you know what, we're just gonna have to plan our wedding ourselves. Yeah, it's gonna be stressful. Yeah, it's gonna take some time, but we just can't afford a wedding planner. I say, here's how you get your wedding planner for free. I'm Lorna Reeves. Let me walk you through step by step as to how you can get your wedding planner for free. Work out your sums and choose a wedding planning system plan a pricing plan that works for you and your wedding budget. Okay, we're going to do some sums, so bear with me, this might be a bit rudimentary and because of the way my brain works, we're going to work in really generic numbers. So wedding planners work in lots of different ways. Some will take a percentage of your overall budget um, as their fee. Um, we at My My Weddings uh, work on a fixed pricing plan, so essentially you choose the package option that suits you as a couple and suits your wedding planning best um, and we work it from there. So let's start out with some basic sums. Let's say your budget, yes that is a B, your budget is £25,000. Okay, we're going to work on that as a basic assumption. Let's say your venue, so actually the place you're going to get married your food, your drink, dancing is going to cost you 15,000. And I'm working with national averages-ish. Um, averages and numbers from various different places. So I, when I work with venues, I'm very selective about who I work with. And I will make sure that one, they are pro LGBT and are using LGBT couples in their marketing. And I'll also, for that privilege of me um, recommending their services and them being the first ones that I will go to if they suit my couple, um, they will often give me some kickback, um, you know, some preferential rates and treatments because they know the quality of the clients that I'm bringing them. Um, and they want to be inclusive to the LGBT market and they want to be known as being inclusive. So let's just say the venue gives me a 10% kickback. I pass all of that on to you, my clients. So that will save you £1,500, okay? Already a good start, right? Um, that's halfway to your wedding planner being paid for. Now let's say your photographer is 2500 Your outfits are gonna cost you, let's say, £1,000. That's conservative, some dresses are upwards of 6,000, but let's go with some ballpark figures. And let's say your honeymoon is gonna be once in a lifetime trip and you're gonna spend four grand on it. If I manage to get you 10% kickback on all of these, can you see how quickly you can make almost the entire fee of your wedding planner back? Those savings are savings that a good wedding planner can make for you, for their clients, pass on those savings to you, and it means that you can get your wedding planner almost included in your original £25,000 budget, or whatever your budget is. You're not trying to find that extra money for a wedding planner on top of your wedding budget. A good wedding planner will be able to incorporate some savings for you, hunt for the best deals, um, and really get you good value for money. So don't you agree that being able to have your dream wedding and the, the wedding planner to take all the stress away is a good thing? Okay, let's look at a little bit of other sums. What's the value of a wedding planner? Now I'd say that value is different to the actual costs. So what is it worth to you? The average wedding costs 300 planning hours ish that's evenings weekends um, spent researching emailing phone calls appointments chasing up so if somebody could take that off your hands that works out to if we're all doing eight hours a day like we ever do eight hour working days but let's just say we all do eight hour working days that works out to about 
37 and a half days work. Yes, that's a three. 37 and a half days work. What's that worth to you in time? Um, I did some rudimentary sums. If you're on 50,000 a year, that's 136-ish pounds a day. So 37 days worth of planning works out to just over 5,000 pounds. 5,000 pounds worth of your time saved by hiring someone to do all the legwork for you. That's 5,000 pounds worth of work hours you're not gonna have to lose. That's weekend time, stress that you won't be having anymore. The time that you won't have to miss out on barbecues because you're going to appointments or you won't have to stay up late because you've got to research a florist. These are all things, this is value. That's how valuable a wedding planner can be. So in terms of actual value, you're looking at about 5,000 pounds. Pretty awesome, wouldn't you say? Looking at our sums, we can see that it makes financial sense. We can make it make financial sense. We can get the best value deals to make sure that we fit in with that budget and give you stress freeness. Um, but I have to say, the biggest thing that my clients talk about is not just about the money, but when they get to their wedding day, that they had the most perfect day, that they didn't have a bridesmaid running around, checking everything was okay, that the happy couple weren't being bothered constantly by the venue staff, you know, is everything okay? Would you like extra wine on the tables? Um, where would you like people to be for photographs? Who are these people for photographs? Can we get them all lined up and ready to go? None of that, just on the day, perfection. Um, and that is what my clients really rate. That's what they say they, they really, really valued, um, that everybody could just relax, really be in the moment. Um, and they actually said spending however much you spend on a wedding, it was worth it just to have somebody to take that stress away, to guarantee that nothing is gonna go wrong. And if there are any hiccups, they're smoothed out by somebody before you even know about it. And that's what my clients say um, is the value of having a wedding planner, someone to fight your corner and make sure that you get the best day possible. So that's it from me and my remedial maths. Um, I don't think Carol Vorderman has got to worry about her job anytime soon, um, but I hope that helps explain how you can afford a wedding planner or how you work your wedding planner into your budget so that you get the best value um, deals, you get the best value venue, and you get something that really means something to you, suits your personality, and you don't at any point feel like you're settling. Um, that's really important on your big day. Have a great day, and I look forward to seeing you all soon. Please do get in touch. I'll put the links around this video. And if you haven't what have, if you haven't had a go yet, I'll get my teeth in. If you haven't had a go yet, please do check out uh, the My Oh My Weddings quiz, uh, Dream or Nightmare LGBT Wedding Quiz, and I'll pop the link in the comments below. Have a fantastic day. Take care.